Andrew Carney is previewing another big bash. This one is coming up on Sunday. He's live in Beaverton where some experts are baking a big birthday cake. Drew? That's right. Last hour we saw the pros here at Beaverton Bakery putting together that six foot tall birthday cake for Children's Cancer Association. This hour we've called in some reinforcements to help out with the project. We have Angelina. We have Brayden. They are two of the participants in this coming weekend's CCA Celebration of Courage event. It's an activity that you and your family can take part in as well. Details this hour. Keep working on News Channel 8 at Sunrise. Drew is out and about this morning at 621. He's helping to bake a giant birthday cake. And Drew, this is for a very special organization. Yes, at 621 in the morning, we're holding a cake decorating party before a big birthday party this weekend. Brayden, Angelina, we need your help this morning. We're talking about Children Cancers Association's annual Celebration of Courage event. It's this weekend. Big cake on the way. Details from Beaverton Bakery next on News Channel 8 of Sunrise. You ready for this? Make a heart on It is coming up on 625. For 15 years now, the Children's Cancer Association has been helping kids fight deadly diseases. And this weekend, Beaverton Bakery is honoring that organization with a big cake. Drew Carney is helping out the baking crew this morning. Drew? And I am not alone this morning, guys. We have a couple of kids here with us, Angelina and Braden, both who are served by Children's Cancer Association and the wonderful programs that CCA has. Uh, Braden, uh, interesting frosting job there on your cupcake, young man. They are honing their cake decorating skills here at Beaverton Bakery. Beaverton Bakery putting together a six foot tall birthday cake, which you can experience this Sunday at CCA's annual Celebration of Courage event. It is Sunday at the World Trade Center, downtown Portland, noon to 4 p.m. This is a family festival, gang, so you and your family can come down and help CCA celebrate 15 years of terrific service in the community. We heard earlier from the CEO of CCA. Uh, they serve roughly 11,000 families with children who are fighting life-threatening diseases, not just cancer, all kinds of life-threatening diseases. One of the programs that CCA has, pretty cool program, it's a chemo pal program. Jane Smith, you are a chemo pal. Uh, so can we ex first explain to our viewers what is a chemo pal, how does this work exactly? Pardon me, sir, pardon me. Can you use that next one? Do you think that that question was so important you had to interrupt this, this, this segment? It was that important. And yes, you can use that next one. Go for it this morning, pal. So, chemo pal. I'm sorry. I am one of 250 adult chemo pals okay. in the program. And we um, actually go to the hospitals and sit with the kids, play and have fun during treatment so that we can kind of create a diversion and help them through their treatment time. You are actually Angelina's chemo pal. I am. Angelina will be one of 25 young adults can I call you a young adult? <laughs> She'll be one of 25 kids, really, who are going to be recognized on Sunday at the Celebration mm -hmm. of Courage as a community hero. So why is Angelina deserving of this community hero recognition? Angelina is a, an inspiration for kids everywhere, really. I mean, there was a time when she had no hair. You can't really tell right now. No. <laughs> but you, besides that, you would have never known she had cancer. She's kept the most positive attitude. She's always giggling and laughing, and she's just a ray of sunshine. Angelina, I will nickname you Miss Positive. <laughs> Brayden, I believe I'll be nicknaming you Mr. Frosting. My goodness, there are other cupcakes on the table deserving of some of your frosting genius. Okay, young man? Uh, we are running out of time here for now, but kids, don't go anywhere because I'd like to test your cake eating abilities, and we'll do that in 15 minutes again as we get ready for a big event this weekend, CCA Celebration of Courage. Russ and Brenda, back to you for now. Yeah, Brayden has it right. The frosting is the best part of the cupcake. I totally agree. Thank you, Drew. And Drew was interrupting them, I think. Not <laughs> yeah. the other way around. I know. Those are Drew Carney helping the bakers at Beaverton Bakery prepare for a huge cake, and this is all for a big bash this weekend, Drew. That's right, Beaverton Bakery helping CCA, that's the Children's Cancer Association, helping them celebrate their 15th birthday with a huge cake. This is only a small portion of that cake. And we have a couple of CCA kiddos. One just escaped, but we will have two. <laughs> Coming up next to help us with a little cake taste testing. Don't eat it now, Angelina. Your turn is next. Look there, big smile. It's a Thursday morning. We're excited about it on News Channel 8 at Sunrise. <laughs> 
37 all morning, Drew Carney has been at Beaverton Bakery where they're baking a big cake to celebrate courage. The Children's Cancer Association is celebrating 15 years as an organization. And Drew, they have a big party plan. <laughs> yes, uh, Beaverton Bakery, by the way, Oregon's oldest scratch bakery. Just want to throw that out there this morning. We have some of the professionals back here, Leslie and Heather, working feverishly on a six foot tall birthday cake. This will be the top of the birthday cake, I do believe. Correct, Leslie? Absolutely. That's the top. Yep. Okay, the top of a nine-tier, six-foot-tall birthday cake celebrating the 15th birthday of CCA. And by CCA, we're talking Children's Cancer Association, a terrific organization uh, formed here in our neck of the woods. They now serve more than 11,000 families with children who are battling life-threatening diseases. We have two of the kids who are served by CCA with us right now. We have the back of Braden's head for you this morning. That's not the best television, Braden, but it's still a darn cute back of a head, I have to admit. And we had the front of the head of one Angelina. Now, Angelina, I was hoping that the two of you, I saw you and Braden helping decorate the cake earlier. I was wondering how you are at taste testing a cake. Can you handle that responsibility? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do that here in just a moment. I should also point out, Angelina, this is worth noting. Sunday, this Sunday, all of our viewers can experience that six, six foot cake at the World Trade Center, downtown Portland, noon to 4 p.m. at CCA's annual Celebration of Courage event. This is a family festival. During the festival, they will honor 25 local kids. They're calling them community heroes. Angelina will be one of the recipients of this community hero ship if I can call it that, uh, because she is a special young lady. So Angelina, as a community hero, I'm going to have you taste test a little cake here this morning at Beaverton Bakery. Okay, I know you can see the cake, but that doesn't necessarily tell you what it is. We have uh, samples of white cake, chocolate cake, and banana cake this morning. I know you're not an expert here, but I'm wondering if you can tell what kind of cake that is, young lady. Savor it, experience it, think about it. What do you got there in your mouth, Angelina? Chocolate cake. Oh, you do have chocolate cake. Now, Brayden, I'm the only one who can see your beautiful face right now. <laughs> Camera Steve says, says uh, he always sees the back of your head. Would you like to taste test some cake this morning? That's a no. That means I have to shove more cake in Angelina's face. You realize that? And you're okay with that? He gives me the nod. Angelina, more cake for you. <laughs> what flavor of cake is this? Would this be the chocolate, the vanilla, or the banana? I put a Drew-sized bite on that fork. What do you think there? Chocolate, white, or banana? Mm. This is the critical moment of the show. Chocolate, white, or banana? White. It is white! And do I hear you chuckling over here? Are you enjoying the fact that you're throwing a little wrench into my segment for your refusal to show your beautiful face to the camera this morning? Are you not going to turn around even for a second, Brayden? No. <laughs> he is beautiful. He is beautiful Braden with a lovely laugh this morning and a great back of the head. She is Angelina. Two kids that, again, are served by Children's Cancer Association, their annual celebration of courage this Sunday, noon to four, World Trade Center, downtown Portland. Help them celebrate with that big birthday cake. We're out of time. No cake for you. Russ and Brenda, back to you. I'm surprised more people backwards. don't protest through shenanigans like yeah. that and just <laughs> really? turn their back to the camera. You've met your match in Braden. All right, tell him he can turn around now. We'll get him off camera. <laughs> but now we've got another problem. It's over in the weather yeah, center. He's protesting. I thought, I thought I would try it. I don't know. He's got something there. I, I like what he's got. Anyways, that was really funny.